Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new prep video and this one is very different. I am going to try a project that I have never done before. What I am going to be working in is this 4x6 mini book. I'll show you the front and back. You can see it is from Everyday Explorers Co. And the woman who does this, she does a kit every month. And I decided to get this one because it was travel themed. It was called Places, I believe. And you just get this little book. It gives you this info on the inside. There's also this in the back cover. I've actually decided I'm going to cover this up. <laughs> so I already have some plans. And then the inside, this is unusual. Only Those are the only two pages that look like that. All the other pages pretty much look the same. But it's a very small space. Four by six is not a size I normally work in because it does make things very, very limited. So there's that to consider. But I'm willing to give it a try because... I have decided I'm going to make this for my daughter. Her birthday is coming up. By the time these videos come out, it will have already passed. So this will be finished. The gift will have been given. There, There's no worry about spoilers or anything. Um, but I thought, well, I'm going to video it while I put this together since it's a new thing. I've never tried it before and we'll see how it goes. So I do want to show you a couple of things that come in the kit. There's more than what's featured here. Usually you get a bunch of stickers and some cardstock cut apart files which is what I'm showing here I am planning to use some of these probably not all but some so you get those as well it usually comes with a stamp set I have that elsewhere right now uh, it comes with an idea book which I have and I am going to try to incorporate some of the ideas that are in here not all of them will work for what I have but it's great that this comes with it because especially if it's your first time using one of these you might need a little help to condense and get into a small space and I definitely need that so one of the things I also wanted to show was how I designed this because really if you're working in something this size that's that small I feel like you almost have to design it beforehand or at least I do I have to have a plan in order to print photos that are the right sizes you only have 14 pages front back to work with so I had to make sure that I have an acceptable number of photos and how am I going to fit those in there because even though we were only gone like two and a half days to Chicago for this album I took a lot of photos so I want to make sure I can fit them in so I just want to show sort of my design process here I didn't do anything crazy you can see I just hand wrote this quickly and I name all of my photo files according to where they were and then a number basically so that's what you're seeing here so that helps me make sure I have put these all in the right order, that I print in the right size, and some of them are collages, so I have to make sure the right photos get placed into the collage. So I have all of my notes here, and you can see it doesn't go perfectly. I changed my mind on a few things, but that will get me to those 14 pages. I'll know I have the right number of photos and how to put them together. So I definitely have a plan going in. So I do want to show a couple of other things I have. I saved our playbill from Book of Mormon. The front um, got some stuff on it. It was shoved in with a bunch of other things. So I'm not going to use that. But I am going to cut out this and use that in there. So I have that planned. You may have noticed that in my hand-drawn designs there that I will be using this item right here. So I will cut that out. And then I put together just this little envelope here of stuff and it's a mix of embellishment pieces die cut things ephemera that kind of stuff and then also some cards and I don't know that I'm going to really end up using a lot of cards but you never know once I start actually putting things together I could end up changing my mind a lot you know it happens and I reserve the right to do that so these were just some things I had thrown in that were either specific to Chicago to big cities, transportation, things that I thought might be fitting for what we saw, what we did. I love these. I actually have two of these and it's the Chicago skyline. So I feel like maybe I should use it. And actually, you know what? I just realized I didn't plan anything for the front cover. Could I cut this down? 
and have it work. If I cut it there, I'd lose the Sears Tower, but I'd keep the Hancock building. If I go the other way, oh, you know what? No, I'd have to because we took the train. We didn't fly, so I'd want to get rid of that anyway. Ooh, I might be able to use this and maybe shift it over a little bit so I can get city to the edge. Ooh, I'd get part of the Willis slash Sears Tower if I did it that way. Ooh, I might have to go edge to edge and get that in there, but hey, problem solved. Maybe that's going to be my cover. In addition to those items, I also have these. I've only used a couple of these stickers, but I felt like they're the right color scheme for some of the things we did. And they're just a very simple embellishment that I could use that would give a nice pop of color and just point to something because I really need to keep my embellishments small and contained in here since I have so little space to work with. And I just thought maybe this would be a good fit. And really, they're just arrows. I mean, I can use them for anything. They're very generic. So I think all of that combined should be able to allow me to put together a good mini book. All right, with all of that said, I plan to start this very quickly. And I'm hoping to do two pages at a time because a lot of the pages are going to be full four by six photos so there won't be a lot to do it'll be slap on the photo put on some embellishments and move on so i'm hoping two pages at a time and i hope you'll come along and watch me put together this chicago mini book thanks for watching